Backyard Brains presents how to record from cricket legs. First, get some crickets at your local pet store, and as usual, put them on ice. Now the key thing here is to cut the leg such that there's a little bit of the coxa attached to the end of the leg you cut. Now notice we have the coxa, the femur, the tibia, and the tarsus. You should familiarize yourself with the anatomy. Let's put one electrode in the femur and one in the coxa. There's not much of a response when I touch the barbs on the leg, but what if I lightly breathe on the leg? Now let's have both electrodes in the femur. This is what we've done in the past without much luck. There is a response when I touch the barbs on the tibia, but it's rather weak. But wait, now let's put one electrode in the femur and one in the tarsus. This has very high spontaneous discharge rate and is also very sensitive to touching the barbs on the tibia. And finally, with one electrode in the tarsus and one in the coxa, you have a preparation that is very sensitive to moving the barbs on the tibia and also lightly breathing on the leg. So, with careful placement of your electrodes, you can find you get just as good responses from the cricket leg as you do from the cockroach. Backyard Brains, neuroscience for everyone.